Hey what's up everyone, I'm Zero Gamer right here and welcome to the first tutorial of OpenCart and today we'll learn how to install OpenCart on a free web hosting website and the free web hosting website we're going to use for this tutorial is 000webhost.com So to get started, you just want to click on the first link in the description below it will take you to this page and you want to scroll down and download the latest version of OpenCart After downloading, you want to open it up And extract the upload folder into your desktop. Okay. Now go back to your web browser. Click on the second link in the description below. And you want to download the FileZilla client for your PC. So if you're on Windows, just download the FileZilla setup. The Linux and Mac OS, uh, there are downloads for it as well. And I'm just going to download the Windows version. Okay, once you download the FileZilla, just open it up, run, agree, next, 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 install. And um, start FileZilla now. Okay. Alright, now we need to go make an account at 000webhost.com. So just fill out all these informations and create a free account at webhost.com. And I'll see you in just a second. Okay, after you create your account, uh, it will bring you to this page saying list of its domains, list of the domains. And uh, here I have is one of my domains, it is tutorialopencard.comly.com. Status is active. So you just gonna click go to C panel. Alright, now we're gonna copy the server name and go back to FileZilla and paste the server name on the host. And for the username, you can copy the username right here and paste it for the username at FileZilla. For the password, you're gonna type in your domain name password which you registered on 000webhost.com just now. And then click to connect. Okay, now you're going to publish HTML. Okay, and um, minimize all this and open up the upload folder. And you want, uh, you want to drag all this into your public HTML folder. Okay, so this could take a while and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, once it's done, you can go to your website and it will bring you to the open card installation and check I agree to the license, click continue. Alright, scroll down and click continue. Alright, right now we need to uh, set up a MySQL server on 000webhost.com. So let's go back to 000webhost.com and let's scroll down and click on MySQL. Okay, for MySQL database name, you can type in whatever you want. Okay, for username, can do the same. I'm just going to type in the same thing as my database name. And type in a password for my SQL user. And click create database. Alright. I'm just going to copy the MySQL host, which is right here. Copy it and paste it on a database host okay I'm going to copy the MySQL database and I'm going to paste in a user since it's the same as my database name 
I'm going to do the same for my database name and I'm going to copy the MySQL password and I'm going to paste it for the password. Okay, now we're going to make a new username and password for the administration in open cart. So just make a new username and the password. and email and click continue right right now we'll have to delete the installation directory so let's go back to filezilla and delete the install folder okay that can take some time so you have to be patient all right now just gonna click log into your administration and um, I'm just going to type in uh, the username and the password. Alright, so we have logged in successfully into our open card administration. So basically, here is where we can make changes into our open card website. And currently, you can actually view our website by clicking the storefront. Alright, so here is our pre installed open card website. And Everything here is all pre-installed, but we will change this into the way we want uh, in the upcoming tutorials. And yeah, so if any time you want to log in to your to your administration panel, just after your um, your opencardwebsite.com, you can type in slash admin, and it will bring you to your administration panel. And you just gotta type in your username, password again, and you'll be able to log in. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. And uh, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.